Year 13 for you. Is the excitement there for you when the playoffs roll around as much as it was, say, back your more. first couple of times? I, I think more because I don't have a cup yet. And, um, you know, 13 years is, is creeping on retirement. It's not, it's not coming yet, but it's, you know, we're getting, we're on the down slope right now. Uh, so when playoffs come, you know, I'm excited. I want to I make a run at it. Uh, I want a cup really bad. Um, you know, I've invested a, a good chunk of my life uh, into the sport. And, um, you know, every kid dreams of winning a cup. So, uh, yeah, I'd, I, I can't wait to get started tomorrow. Matt Cook told me one time that he said that this time of year he enjoyed the most because he felt he could be the most effective in the fact that he would see the same people night after night and he said the continually pounding that he dished out or tried to dish out every game wore on teams do you subscribe to that theory 100 percent. that's uh that's my only subscription um <laughs> yeah it, it's it is an absolute grind to play against guys that come after you wave after wave after wave you know one of the, one of the best teams i ever played on was uh, the Vegas team of the first year. Uh, obviously, we went to the cup final. And, you know, the first round, I, I wasn't playing. You know, I, I got there late. Uh, I ended up getting scratched for the first round. And I was watching. And, you know, the success of that team was every single player on that team, small, big, medium, whatever it was, just got into the body at some point. And they were never, you know, so, you know, we had, uh, you know, Jonathan Marcheseau, who's, you know, five foot four, whatever he is. He, you know, he doesn't hit hard, but he was hitting you know, wave after wave, shift after shift. And when you have those guys hitting and then you got guys like me and Moose, uh, you know, Midzi, those guys that are doing the same thing that, you know, they maybe feel it a little bit more, it wears on you. You get to a game seven and, um, you know, little bumps and bruises turn into little injuries that slow you down. And, you know, you D-men are thinking about uh, getting rid of the puck a little bit quicker. So, yeah, it, you know, a series is an investment and it starts from game one and you keep investing and, and it pays off. There's not a lot of altercations in the postseason because he can't sometimes take those risks. Sometimes it does happen, but more often than not, you know, there's players that need to know you're out there sometimes for them to feel more comfortable and for them to get involved like that. How do you project yourself into a series when you're not out there every single shift? You may not skate with this guy, but this guy knows you have his back. I mean, I... Uh... I like to chirp from the bench a lot. Um, when I am out there, I uh, make sure I'm in somebody's face. Um, you know, stopping in front of the net, little scrums. Uh, you know, not taking penalties is, is obviously crucial, but you know, little scrums. But when I do get those shifts, uh, when I have a chance to lay the body, I'm going to lay the body. And uh, if I miss, I'm going to miss loud, uh, so they know that I'm I'm coming the next shift. Um, again, that's that's the little investments. Across for Kaprizov. Kaprizov scores. Yeah. So when I played against him uh, with Vegas two years ago, um, when I left that series, that was the first thing I said. Um, I think I text Billy about him too, but um, that was one of the first things I noticed was for, you know, not a very big guy, for a guy who we knew we had to play hard, and, you know, I tried going after him. He's not easy to hit, you know, I'm not going to say that, but, you know, our team focused on him and guys took runs at him and it just seemed to ignite him even more um and you don't see it a lot of out of a lot of star players like that uh, where you know the intimidation factor just doesn't exist for them you know it kind of fires them up and I, and I love that about him and he's not you know he's not shy to go into the dirty areas he do, he he goes into the corners hard and he battles and if somebody you know gives him a cross check he'll probably just go bury on him you know what i mean so it's it's fun to watch him for how skilled he is. He plays so hard, and he just he doesn't care about you know what you're going to do to him. Dean Everson, he's a interesting character. He doesn't share a lot with us, but I'm sure he shares a, a lot more with you guys. But it seems like he's got your back. It seems like he is a player's coach. I mean, we saw the other night with Winnipeg. It got a little feisty, and. Rick Bonus, the Winnipeg coach, is barking at him, and he just waved him over. Yeah, uh, I don't like Rick's uh, chances in that fight, to be honest with you. 
<laughs> Do you think Dean was a, a pretty good scrapper in his day? I think he was a pretty scrappy player back in the day. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know how he scrapped, but um, you know, he's not, he's not a massive guy, so he, he's got to be a little scrappy for it. Now you're the master of intimidation, but those looks he gives, they seem pretty intimidating. They don't, they don't get to you, do they? Well, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a little out of my weight class to be intimidating me. <laughs> Uh, I, I bet you he's, uh, you know, I bet you he's throwing those looks out back when he played, and uh, I, I'm sure he got under some guy's skin. Now you went viral for uh, taking some smelling salts, yeah. hockey smelling salts. Uh, so these are these are the same, but these are the old school ones. So these ones you crack, you shake a little, and then when they turn pink, you can smell those. The other one is just the whatever the ammonia in the in the little bottle. All right, but I think you'd be excited for a, of course I'm a baseball game. You don't need a baseball to game. No. Did I say baseball? You did, See, yeah. then you're already getting me. <laughs> you're, 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 you're flustered, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, only, it's only a couple brain cells you're going to lose. Don't worry. I don't have any left, though, <laughs> at this age. I mean, you see how old this is? They're, they're barely firing half the day. So, but what does it do for you on the bench? Because you see guys. It's, it's just like a quick jolt. Like, it just kind of wakes you up. Um, not, yeah, it's not, I'm not saying that I'm going on the bench and I'm sleeping and I need it, but, you know, I take my Red Bull and I, I get this, and, you know, it's just anything to, anything to get the body 100% ready. All right. Are you, like, are you scared of that? It's so, it's so baby. Perhaps. <laughs> but I am soft. I mean, if I just jacket off, you scared so of spiders? Like, like, just strings hanging off here for arms. I, I don't got, I don't got, uh. It's not a gun show here at all. You don't need guns to, for this. All right. Just a nose. That's it. <laughs> well, I do like air because it's free. There you go. Right? Well, this is just air with a little uh, little ammonia in it. <laughs> <laughs> ammonia, right? Yeah, there you go. All right. All right. So what do I do? You crack it. How do you crack it? Just, just squeeze. Shake it up. See how it turns pink? Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. It's turning pink. There you go. Does it smell yeah, it? Oh, yeah. Oh. No, you gotta breathe in. No, no, don't, don't, cheat, don't cheat it now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See? And now you're ready for your next next segment. Oh, God, am I gonna be good the next yeah. one? Hey, you know, I got you an extra one for uh, your next live uh, interview. Oh, hey, you take thank that right you so before. Much. Wow. Jim's wow, ready. That, that gets you. That <laughs> gets your eyes watered. Yeah, How I'm do you see the you. puck? That, well, no, it goes away. <laughs> But so, when? When? <laughs> John's gone now. Wow. Some of them are more. Yeah. <laughs> some of them are more intense. That bottle that I got was that was a new, a fresh bottle. It, it tickled the brain a little bit. Man. Well, thank you for this. This is a eye-opening experience. Yeah, anytime. <laughs>